In this lesson, we're going to learn how to filter your search results by file type. Now remember, in the last lesson, we learned how to reduce the scope of all those millions of files, all those millions of results, down to a particular set, just by looking at their site, that is, where they're located on the web. Now in this class, we're going to look at those documents, those things that you found, and be able to filter by the kind of document they are. Now, most web pages are HTML pages. They're just regular old web pages that render in your browser. But there are also a lot of files out there that you can search for that have a particular type. Excel spreadsheets, doc files, text files, you name it. We can use this particular operator, file type, to limit the search results to just the ones you want. So let me show you how this works. So here we are. And we'd like to do a search, say, for information about the Lewis and Clark expedition. So I'm going to search for Lewis and Clark expedition. And I'm going to add this file type, colon, KML. Now, I know from other work that KML, or KMZ, files are those that locate positions on the world that you can do paths with them and so on. So I have a good feeling that this kind of search is going to give me KML files about the Lewis and Clark expedition. Okay, so let's try it. When we do it, we see there's actually a whole bunch of them. So what I'm going to do is click on this very first one. And what it does, as you see, is it downloads that file. That's a KML file that I can now open in Google Earth or Google Maps. So let me show you how that works. What I'm going to do is start my search for this by Google My Maps. And I know that the first result will be My Maps, which is the mapping tool that Google offers that allows you to make your own maps. In this case, I want to import that KML file that we just found using the file type operator. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new map like that. And here we are. We've got a new map. I'm going to import by clicking on that blue button there. In this case, a KML file. I'm going to select. And there it is, the KML file we just downloaded. Click that, open it up, and this will upload the KML file that we found and put it into My Maps. And as you can see, here we go, the complete path of the Lewis to Clark expedition, or at least one direction. They actually came back. So you get the idea. By using the file type operator, I was able to find just that kind of file. What else can we look for? So there are a lot of different kinds of files you can search for. PDF files, doc files, all these different file types, including a bunch you might not have thought about, like KML files or KMZ files. Here's the pattern. You want to do your query for whatever it is you're searching for, and then use file type, colon, and then whatever. Now remember, if you want to find different kinds of files, like say a dat file, which is a data file, or a CSV file, which is a comma-separated variable file, you would do file type CSV or file type DAT. So let's go into another search just to cement this idea. What I'd like to look for now is a list of birds. That is a data file about birds of California. So I do birds, California, file type, CSV. Remember, that's a one form of a data file we could search for. There we go, CSV. We have a whole bunch of lists of birds in CSV format. Particularly this one, the very first, is a list of specimen birds from all over California. Fantastic. Now. I can go on at this point and do filtering by different kinds of files and so on. But you see the idea. File type is another filter tool that allows you to specify the kind of thing you want to find. This is a powerful tool, and it's the one I use probably the most. I use site a lot, I use file type a lot, but between those two, that allows me to be very precise and filter down to exactly the kinds of documents I'm looking for. Go ahead and try it. Do the activity. See how far you get.